Hey, this is Sean from Time and Talk. Today I thought I'd make a video about my newest acquisition, which isn't that new to be honest now. It's the Seiko Samurai SRPB09, the Blue Lagoon limited edition. So here it is on the screen. So it originally came on a bracelet, but I've replaced it with this rubber strap. It's from Watch Gecko. It's a Zulu diver strap. Um, but the bracelet is pretty good quality. Just wait for it to focus a little bit. Um, yeah, so it's a, it's an oyster style bracelet. It's pretty nice. I mean, to be honest, I prefer Seiko's on a rubber strap because the bracelets feel a bit chunky to me, especially with the size of the watch. Um, it has a diving extension, which I'm not sure why, but I just um, didn't really expect of the watch. Um, so here it is. It's pretty good and um, pretty useful. Don't don't think I'm ever going to use it. Like um, as I said, the watch is pretty big. It's it's forty four millimeters. It's just less than forty four millimeters, just slightly less. Twenty two millimeter lug width. Um, it's a member of the Prospex range of dive watches that Seiko make. You know, above the SKX, etc., but below some of the others. Um, for example, the one that I reviewed on my channel. I forget the reference number check that out it's a really nice watch so it's called the blue lagoon um because of the blue um clearly um a lovely shade of blue that really kind of shines in the in the light when you when you wear it and it, it really is a nice a nice shade of blue more interesting than the other colors i think and has the case back the limited edition on it and the the seiko wave um so I mean, the thing that strikes me about this watch primarily is the the fact that it, it's so handsome. Um, I mean, the color of it, the the blue. If you notice the the quick release um, spring bar things on the on the strap, pretty cool. Um, the blue is awesome. So yeah, so there's the Zulu Diver. Um, I thought Zulu, Zulu Diver was a brand to be honest, but I, I don't know. Um, so the bezel is pretty nice. It's nothing special. I'm, I'm a bit obsessed with dive watch bezels, but um, it's it's nothing to write home about really. But it, it it's good. It's solid. Um, it's got drilled lugs, which is awesome. Uh, not something that I really need, but it is something that's quite useful. Um, I'll show you a wrist shot. So my wrist is six and a quarter inches. It's it's quite small. The the watch is huge. Um, and I did consider selling it, but I'm I'm gonna keep hold of it. It's just so nice. But um, it is on the big side. So if you've got a small wrist, it's it's wearable. Um, and it wears small than forty four millimeters would suggest. But it it is it is a big watch. Um, so it you know it looks pretty nice. I prefer it on the rubber strap. It hugs the wrist a little bit more. I find. Um, try to give you a little bit more of an angle there so you can see it a little bit better the, the perspective I'm just going to show some images of the watch um, in macro I've got a new lens As I've said, um, I think the main thing about this watch that, that jumps out at me is that is the blue, is the nice, the nice um, color blue. Um, in terms of pros and cons of this watch, I think the loom is awesome, as you've just seen. If you watch that video, it's really solid. It's two hundred meter diver. I mean, the finishing looks really good on this watch. I'm, I'm surprised by how good it looks under under, under a macro lens. Um, it's it's a little big 
if if you're looking at the the cons for me due to my wrist size but i mean anyone else i think i think could wear it um and it's wearable for me um in general but in terms of other pros of the watch this particular version is very very accurate it's the 4r35 movement and this is actually the most accurate seiko that i've ever owned and you know i've had the 6r15 and, and and various other movements and they've always kind of run it a little bit disappointingly in terms of their accuracy. This one's fantastic. It's dead on in two seconds or, or something like that. Um, and in terms of, you know, other things, it's, it's just a really, really solid watch. Um, it's really good for summer. It's a little something a little bit different as well. Seiko are not afraid to do a design that's not trying to be the Submariner, but it's, it's just... It's a little bit more fun, I guess, but truly at the same time because it's so solid and and you know I can't really think of any any pro sorry cons apart from um the the size which is just a personal thing to to me. So yeah, I really love this watch. Um, it's a really good buy. You know, it's about three hundred and fifty pound, and I can't think of a watch that you could get that's as good as this for the price. Um, if you like my video please subscribe if you like my channel please subscribe as well hit me in the comments with your thoughts your questions if you have any thanks very much for watching bye bye